Off I go. Pirate, dead pirates everywhere. So let's see what that magic compass is up to now. All right, let's save it and read some books. All right, oops, wrong button, tab. Booksy books, books. Oh, dude, which one did I just get? Long ago, the day that I was born, I knew that I was destined to explore. Something in me down beneath my skin, but yearn for something more. So I picked my bags, and they were looking back, and I planned out my attack. I felt the wind, I felt the sun. My venture has begun. I go where the wind takes me, I'll have no fear. I lift up my anchor and sail to the clear. I'll go where my heart takes me, open the vault, my hair full of sand and my mouth full of salt. So here I am, the waves beneath my feet, and the air smells fresh and sweet. Though danger lurks at every turn, is fate for which I yearn. I'll go to where the wind takes me, I'll have no fear. I'll lift up my anchor and sail to the clear. I'll go where my heart takes me, open the vault, my heart my hair full of sand and my mouth full of salt. That was pretty good. I like that. Cobalt Crafter. Oh, I read that. Maxwell's. D I love fishing. I love fishing even more than I love plundering. Should I have ever become a pirate? I'm starting to doubt my decisions. There's just pure joy that comes from reeling a fish out of the sea. Don't get me wrong. Being a pirate is fun, but it was getting boring. Plunder, plunder, plunder. Everything. I just want something besides gold. I recently heard that there was fish in these pirates called a... Ooh, lionfish. As a collector of sorts, I would love to get my hands on such a beauty. Maybe when the captain's not looking, I can whip my fishing rod out and catch me one. Oh well, I suppose only time will tell. Time to get fishing. I have never heard of a lionfish. Trim tunic. 12 physical armor. An old tattered journal. Okay, it's not too long. It's been three days, three days since I've had my sl any sleep. The captain has me sharing quarters with this imbecile named Nisbet. Now he managed to get on the crew, I'll never know. Anyways, I can't sleep because of his excessive snoring. Every night I lay down, shut my eyes, and hear the sound of dying sea turtle right next to me, <laughs> right next to my ear. I try talking to com uh, the captain about it, but he'll have none of it. Something has to be done, and soon. I'm officially at my wit's end. Today I tried talking to Nesbitt about the problem, asking if he could mind sweeping on his side or trading cores with someone. You know what he said to me? Stick some seaweed in your ears if it bothers you that bad. Seaweed? As he lost it? I can't take this anymore. Nisbet deserves what's coming to him. I'm at report Nisbet nuisance no more. I conjured an inge ingenious plan to get him rid of him. In the middle of the night, I snuck into Captain's quarters and stole a stash of muffins. I then found Nisbet's bag and stuffed it full of all the muffins I could. Next day, we woke to screams of agony. The captain was furious, running around the ca uh, camp yelling and cursing. There was much faulting and gnashing of teeth, wailing and gnashing of teeth. I quickly ran to the captain's side and mentioned the smell of muffins near our tent, that perhaps Nisbet had something to do with it. Without hesitation, the captain ran over to our tent and quickly discovered a bag of stolen muffins. With that satchel in hand, he came out questioning Nisbet. Is this your bag? You should have seen Nisbet's face. You look like a deer in the torchlight. The captain, needing no further proof, Banished Nisbet from the island and sent him to sea on a dinghy. I may have report that snoring problem is no more and I can finally sleep again. In fact, I got the tent all to myself. Captain saw fit to reward me for reporting the mustn thief. Ah well, life is good, is it not? <laughs> that was pretty good. On the stone gods. 
the Walk Crafter. Strange things. They are being made of stone. Who has even heard of such magic? I remember when I first came upon one. I believed it be a dream the way he stared down upon me. His eyes on fire like the sun. The fear and awe was incredible. I could do nothing but get on my hands and knees in adoration of such power. Thinking he may choose to take my life, I closed my eyes and waited for judgment. But it did not come. Instead, it felt the wrath of the sun return and the birds song begin again. When I opened my eyes, the great stone god was gone. I questioned the experience itself. Had I had an illusion? Was this all some sort of dream? It was then that I noticed a dagger in front of me. It was not there before. The dagger looked uh, curved like a snake. It was made of some kind of strange stone. I don't know how yet, but this dagger has to have some connection to the stone god. I now made it my life's purpose to find out find this being again, though I'm not sure what will happen when I do. I think I fought one of those things. Whether to Lavina. I'm writing this letter to let you know how much I miss you. With each day that passes, I feel less enjoyment from day to day. The thing that no way makes me happy pale in comparison to your presence. Food doesn't taste the same. The sunshine isn't as bright. And I'm afraid the only cure for me is you. I spoke to Captain about returning home for a few weeks. And he has proved my request. Oh, well, I guess... I hope that's not one of the pirates I killed. <laughs> These... Um, I'll be deport, uh, departing in a few days and will hopefully arrive shortly after you get this letter. To be honest, I'm not sure uh, I can leave you again. Maybe I can leave the pirate life behind and become a traitor. The way I can be home closer to you and little Joseph. How is he doing, by the way? He's got to be at least two or three since I last seen him. Wow. <laughs> at this rate, I hope this letter finds you well. Don't know how old your son is. It might not be his son, necessarily. Oops, sorry about that, I hit my mic. Pardon Busher, one of those. Hunter Guide, Volume 3. Did I read this? I'm pretty sure I have. What's this again? Part Tiger Fang. Ten poison resistance. I forgot I had that. Where did I get that? Ancient elm. Six physical armor. Do I have a hat that's better than that? I'm just looking for books right now. Skull. Family forgotten. Nearly half a century ago, four brothers were born to a single mother of the port of Whispers. It is a horrible place for my for any mother to raise her children, alone a single mother raising four boys. The port of Whispers was a poor and crime ridden city, full of filth and garment corruption. If you could sum up the moral code at island, it would be this survivor die, and no children born into this land learn to either fight and earn independence or surrender and become a servant. Four brothers learned very early on that if they were to survive in Port Whispers, they would need to stick together. As time went on, the boys grew very close and developed an almost unbreakable bond. They looked out for each other, fought for each other. They would even die for each other if it came to be. As they grew older, they sought revenge on the government of the home island. Corruption in the city had driven this family apart and brought poverty and crime to the land. Banding together, they overthrew the politicians and leaders of the government, seeking to set up their own political system. A fair system that would not steal from the people, but give back to those it served. Over time, though, the brothers grew cold and distant from the very people they set to serve. Greed injected his way into their veins, and they began hoarding treasures for himself. Eventually, people rose up, but as the brothers had once done in an attempt to overthrow the corruption. Though this time, the people were not successful. 
The murderers came ruthless in their defiance, hanging anyone who threatened their role. Eventually, the people gave up, and the anarchy subsided. All seemed well for years, by the time the land began to dwindle in its population, fearing terrible rule, the brothers, the people sought life on their in other areas of the world and slowly, slowly left the Port of Whispers. For a time, there was nothing left but four brothers and the mountains of treasure they had, left, they had built. With their abundance of gold and the people to take from, the states of thirst for wealth grew even stronger. Eventually, even the bond between them, woven as children on the streets, began to tear. The brothers became jealous and paranoid of one another, fearing each was fearing each was out to get them. They eventually agreed to split up the wealth between them and go their separate ways. And so each brother with his cut of the wealth took a ship and headed out to sea. Not much is known to whereabouts of the brothers today. Rumor has it that they have become vicious pirate lords, gaining not only wealth, but the loyalty of the entire crew of men, ready to do their bidding. What is known is this greed can make enemies of even closest of friends. When your family once bound by blood, now forgotten. So is that part, Captain's I wonder? Part guide of gold. Be journal, Maxwell Journal, Cobalt Crafter. Cultus, I read that here by the sea. Blueprint for Pardon Pusher. What's this? Here by the sea, turned under my feet. The waves abound, and I i don't care about poems. <laughs> Let's see if I have your hat. It's better than one I'm wearing. I have very few hats. Part hat, part hat. And all kinds of gloves. And a magic compass. Let's we'll see what's up with that magic compass. <coughs> Let's put the magic compass on zero, I think. If I could ever find it again. can't see it. Magic compass. What time is it? Uh, I think I'm beached. There's some light, so much light back this way for. Probably a little bit over daylight so I can actually see the compass. Yeah, let's turn it to daylight. Didn't go to sunrise. There we go. I'm going to get in the small boat. It's hard to do on this big thing. Shit. Oh, I didn't put it way over there. Okay, easy to tell I haven't used a compass very often. We want the red, not the white. I think I knew that. <laughs> Let's 
So. What? Red. So I've got a. And with long as I've got a fish on there. Find it in as well as to it and see if they could tell us anything about this magic compass. So, we have a bunch of ships to choose from. So, some of these are interesting, like this one uh, Ridge Shift Time only moves when you move. Ho hum, old man, awesome. Paper thin defenses, who cares? Uh, this one is difficult to learn but rewarding when you do. A weaker man attack means that you have to rely more on your little robot beam buddy and your special weapon, the Spine Ballista, is a charge shop type weapon which can also be a bit tricky at first. Or Green Envy, 10% chance of getting a credit on every kill. I'm going to pick Flame Tank, enormous missile capacity, double shields, a flamethrower for primary weapons and excellent defense of secondary weapon just not much spare energy to actually run that secondary weapon but the flamethrower is awesome and as I said because I don't be talking while I'm playing this and I kind of suck at these types of games 